Hi, welcome back. Let's see how to debug the standard error message. Take example of MEM01. Once we understand this concept, we can apply this concept for any other transition code using the same technique. So the MM01 screen, first I'm trying to create one article. Okay, so initially I will enter the right unit of measure here. Okay, the example like one mobile VOV23 Pro and here I will enter well unit of standard unit of measure as EA that is each which is very common okay EA so what you enter here and we want to save yes so it is saved properly okay one article is created now let's try to enter one wrong unit base unit of measure okay suppose instead of this I'm entering EA1 so here we can see the system has triggered the unit EI1 is not created. So I want to debug this. I want to identify the place from where system is triggering this message. Okay. So as I explained, once we understand this concept, so instead of MM01, any screen like finance transition code, F-02, F-28, purchase order creation, sales order creation, okay, PS project creation, any decode. If you want to identify the error message, you can apply the same technique. So one of the first common way which generally rapper do is we identify is we check the message ID and the message number. The BM is the message ID and this is the message number. Okay, so it's a old very common way. So what we can do simply go to SC91 enter the message class and the message number. Okay, then you can select this and click on where use list. Then we'll find a different like n number of program and we have to set breakpoint in each and every program. Okay, so second option here is easy way. So what we'll do here enter slash h. Okay, now we are into debugging mode. Press enter. Here two option, either press the function key F9, okay, function key F9, you can see this option create breakpoints using adapt commands, method, function, for, uh, forms, messages, etc. Or second option, you can go through menu, breakpoints, create break, breakpoint at this one, breakpoint at, same features you can see here. Now I want to set a breakpoint at a message. I want to know from where system is triggering that message. Okay, so by default the message type is selected, enter the ID and the message number. Now press continue. Okay, now after setting that breakpoint, breakpoint set, if you execute this, see directly execution is stopped at the line where system is triggering that breakpoint 305 okay like unit of measure not formed so if I press F5 this will trigger this error message okay and before that if you want to like debug okay why system is not like able to identify that so we can set a breakpoint again here go to a statement Okay, and now here the input we are passing EA1, language is EA. Set one more breakpoint here, press F5. So we can like analyze what system is doing. Okay, what other functions or the standard routine system is executing, system is going through. Press F8, press F8. Okay, so my main intention was to explain you in case of any standard error message, how to identify the place from where that message is getting triggered. And we can analyze the program lines before that to identify in detail. Fine. 
So in this way, we can easily identify the place from where that error message is getting triggered. Now let's see one more example using the similar breakpoint at but some other concept. Okay, error message we already checked. Now what we'll do, like one common way, like one, okay, let me first come out this session. So one standard T code is there, ME2L. Okay. That is purchase order per supplier. So here, what is my requirement? I just want to check. Okay, I just want to check what are different function models system is calling in this transition code. Okay, use the same function which I explained you to identify the error message. The same functionality we will try to use here also, but this time using the ABAP statement or call function. Okay, here enter disk of list and slash h execute function key f9 so what is my requirement i want the execution should get stopped at all the places wherever system is calling some function module so we know to call the function module the adapt statement is call function okay if you want to set a breakpoint exactly at the function module you know then what we can do we have to copy this name and go to function tab and here enter function model name but initially i'm just trying to understand what are all the function models are getting called while execution execution of this program t code me2l so in the app command i'm entering call function now after this whenever we press f8 system will stop the execution at the next function model which is getting called see here okay so like this way we can note down all the different function models which are getting called in a specific transition code for our knowledge or do some analysis okay so let me just press f8 to identify different fm now see here so here there is a function model me read history so here what system is doing system is passing the purchase order number eblp okay multiple details and based on that some data will come in the output okay now initially when i execute the function model i set using call function because i wanted to identify all the function model which are getting called okay but my next requirement is i want to set a breakpoint only at that function model when that history function model getting called. So what we can do? Same concept. ALB slash H execute. Now this time what I will do? Instead of add commands, I will directly go to function. Because this time I know the function model which I want to debug. Okay. Now I press enter. Now after this if I press execute, okay, see, we are inside the function model, me underscore read history. So every time a system is calling this function model, the breakpoint is stopped. Okay, so both the ways. First, if you want to identify all the function models which are getting called, we can make use of that adapt commands. And in case, if we know the function model name, Okay, then enter right here. Similar way, we will learn like messages. Okay, like this, we can make use of different other type also like form routine methods. If you want to set breakpoint for a particular method, the same concept we can use to set the breakpoint using the breakpoint act concept to debug the standard error message as well as to debug the standard code block on a particular command of function model. So in this way, we're done with this session. Thank you.